Il Duce gave out prizes to winners of the Battle of the Grain contests. Around 200 farmers were awarded prizes. They had the pride and honor of being the first wave of a vast army, which on the orders of Il Duce was victorious in the great battle for self-sufficiency in grain, which was so vital for the Italian nation. Il Duce was delighted with the results achieved that year and set the targets which would need to be achieved. The cry of faith which greeted him was an eloquent demonstration of the unshakable strength of purpose of the rural population of Italy. unforgettable, unequal 18-hour battle against three British cruisers, the Graf Spey finally took refuge in the neutral port of Montevideo. The pocket battleship had been hammered by blows to her control tower, had sustained direct hits in two places, on her deck and along the steel sides of her keel, and her seaplane was riddled with fire. In addition to the seven captains, 33 officers and 21 enemy seamen held prisoner on board, the Graf Spey also brought ashore 26 bodies of German seamen who had been killed during the battle. When the period of her temporary stay expired, she prepared to leave port for her final voyage. Lying offshore in wait for her were nine ships with 380 mm guns ready to attack. The people of Montevideo gathered on the waterfront to witness her departure as daylight began to fade, anxiously awaiting the action which would be played out before them. By order of the Führer, supreme commander of the armed forces of the Reich, the pocket battleship chose to end her shining seafaring career proudly and bravely by scuttling rather than facing the certainty of capture or of inglorious internment. Heir to a great name and upholder of a great tradition, the Graf Spey boasted the sinking of no less than 50,000 tons of enemy shipping. The Graf Spey's commander, Captain Langsdorff, who was later to take his own life, and the surviving crew of 1,039 officers and seamen landed in Argentina, where they were interned for the duration. Meanwhile, the Graf Spey took down with her the construction secret which had made her one of the most powerful battle units of her tonnage. by the work rate in a large factory with non-stop production of huge quantities of steel helmets for our armed forces.
turmoil have no effect on the powerful German submarine fleet, which scours the seas with fearless tenacity and inflicts heavy losses on the enemy. country skiing athletes contended the party secretary trophy all the way from San Vito di Cadore to Cortina d'Ampezzo. The 44 kilometer run was covered in only three and a half hours by three members of the Aosta military school who thus won the much coveted prize. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>